direction, hand by hand with the governments of Spain, which has put South Africa in its main priorities. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Riera for those remarks, and we'll immediately have uh, two short videos. This is where the electricity must go off, the lights must go off. to a place in Africa that is like no other, the cradle of civilization, the genesis of humankind, where it all began, where new ways of doing business happen every day, and where the world watches our talent in fascination. A place where Nobel Prize winners have inspired a new generation of winners who are leaving their mark on global stages. We invite you to a place that celebrates diversity, culture, and heritage, the only country in the world that is as colorful as the rainbow, where humanity is expressed through our blend of 11 official languages. Headquarters to top South African and international investment banks, financial and legal consultants. Come set foot in the richest square mile in Africa and host your business events at one of the largest convention centers on the continent. Growth is everywhere. South Africa is rich in mineral resources and manufacturing expertise. We embrace global innovation and technological trends. With an array of world-class infrastructure, everyone is invited to do business. Visit, explore, and live in our beautiful country. We're one of the world's preferred travel destinations. A winning country where all dreams are valid and realized. Where we always come together and build a better future and country. Come invest with us and inspire new possibilities where believe in South Africa. South Africa, inspiring new ways. We invite you to a place in Africa that is like no other. Ladies and gentlemen, the two presidents have been in deep conversation today at the Union Buildings and thereafter over lunch and we saw the warmth in the, that characterized the personal relationship between the two uh, excellencies and we saw also a deep commitment to transform the, what we can do together, particularly in the economic sphere. And much of the conversation focused on the economy, the goods we trade with each other, and how to increase the volume and the composition of that trade, the investment opportunities available, 
and how to improve two-way uh, two investment and how to cooperate in other areas, amongst others, a green industrialization. Our overall trade amounts to about $3 billion, or for the South Africans in the room, close to 50 billion rand. Spain is an important trading partner for South Africa and was South Africa's fourth largest export destination uh, in, in the EU. Our exports to Spain cover a wide range of items from minerals, zirconium is a good example, to the processing of ferrochrome. Excellency, we have one of the world's, we have the world's largest reserves of chromium, but also agricultural products such as fish and citrus fruits that we sell uh, to, to Spain, and value-added products like vehicles and components. And so we have assembled today a number of representatives from both countries' business communities. Some 80 firms each have been meeting, exchanging ideas, and thinking about how to deepen and improve the business relationship and opportunities to, to jointly venture into unlocking the growth in our own economy and in the Spanish economy. And so it's my pleasure to invite the two representatives from the business community. It's an opportunity for them to say to the two excellencies, to the two presidents, what it is that they have covered and to give a report on their conversations. And so I'd like to invite from the South African business community, uh, Mr. Hannes de Waal, the chairperson of the Citrus Growers Association, who will speak for a few minutes on behalf of South African business. Hannes de Waal, Hannes, you, ha you are invited forward and you have the floor. Please come through. Good afternoon, Your Excellencies, the Presidents, Ambassadors, Ministers, Distinguished Guests. My name is Hannes de Waal. I represent the company that I manage, Sundays River Citrus Company, the beautiful Sundays River Valley, which you should visit if you have not done so, and 1,400 citrus producers in South Africa all combined in the very efficient Citrus Growers Association. I was chosen today in this group probably because of my pronounced Afrikaans accent. <laughs> so uh, English speaking members may also need to use the translation. Uh, <laughs> but probably because I had the nerve to tell our Spanish guests that our citrus is the sweetest. But please don't tell my many, many friends in Spain, and that is true, I have many, many friends in Spain. I was privileged to participate in a discussion where opportunities were identified by both sectors. In energy, huge opportunity exists for energy collaboration especially in the field of renewable energy, be it green, hydrogen, solar, wind and gas. There is a desire for developing broader relationships to collaborate on pursuing these opportunities. In manufacturing, the bilateral pharmaceutical opportunities are many. South Africa already has a presence in anesthetics, women health oncology, and anticoagulants. That's why I warned you about my Afrikaans. And this can be used as a platform to further grow into a stronger footprint in Spain. But conversely, licensing opportunities exist in those therapeutic areas where Spain has a very strong presence. Opportunities exist for local partnering and manufacture and export of composite, and that is fiberglass and resin materials, 
and steel components for renewable projects, infrastructure, architecture, and rail. In financing, there is opportunity for Spanish companies for development of local partners and infrastructure probably in the whole of the African continent. Both countries are picturesque and the people are friendly. So the opportunities for more travel and tourism is many. And I've been privileged to travel Spain on many occasions, so I can testify to it. Both countries are well developed in agriculture, which is my passion, and it already created numerous opportunities and will definitely lead to more integrations and partnerships. The opposite hemisphere production creates lots of opportunities and little overlap in agriculture. Spain is already invested in South Africa in cultivar development and propagation, agrotechnology, agrochemical, and then also in trading with South African companies as well as already supplying fresh produce to local re retailers. South African companies like the one I manage exploit opportunities in serving the Spanish consumer. I believe that the development of the African continent in the future hold huge opportunities, not only for agriculture, but also for manufacturing and will be the jewel that we can form together. We believe, Mr. President, that with strong mutual government support, this dynamic trend we see already will engulf and strengthen both economies. Thank you, this was my privilege. And it's really my, my pleasure next to invite the counterpart representing Spanish business and who will be reporting to the two excellencies on the discussions we've had. And I'd like to welcome Ms. Marta Blanc, President of the Spanish Confederation of Employers and Industries. Please, you have the floor. Welcome. Muy buenas tardes. Eh, muchísimas eh, gracias, ministro. Presidentes, eh, ministros, eh, ministros, embajadores. Eh, yo intervengo en este, en este foro eh, en representación de la Confederación Española de, de Organización de Empresas eh, como presidenta de EU Internacional. Eh, y es un honor eh, para mí eh, contar lo que hemos hecho esta mañana. Eh, el ministro eh, comentaba al principio de este foro que habíamos tenido una reunión muy productiva. Y ciertamente así ha sido una reunión que queremos agradecer al gobierno de, de Sudáfrica por esta oportunidad, porque además de empresas sudafricanas y empresas españolas, hemos tenido la ocasión de contar con la participación y Good knowledge of the South African officials 
and that is, and the contact that they have for quite a while with Spanish companies. We also want to thank this publicly. Here we have seen this with Yanis, with the representative of the IBB. And we have also agreed in the need to consolidate our partnerships uh, that we have been running over the last few years, but most of all, the need to carry on further, to have this vision of um, cooperation of our two countries. On the side of the Spanish companies, we want to highlight the opportunities that this market offers to us. We consider South Africa a leader in the region of Africa, and we coincide with South Africa in so many international forums, and we have international meetings that we can come together and face global problems and we can also apply global solutions to other countries' companies. We also agree that sometimes the decisions that our governments need to take, sometimes in a very short time, to cover all the needs, sometimes are conflicted with some of the long-term commitments that we have, for instance, energy, for instance, um, food security. Security. Uh, this is very relevant. For us, South Africa has a diversified economy uh, and a grown up um, market which needs uh, sophisticated uh, products uh, like in the automobile industry. Uh, we also consider South Africa a hub to be able to access all the other markets in the region. Of Africa. We value the legal structure of South Africa because they adapt to new realities quite fast. Also, the financial strength in this part of the world, which is key, and also infrastructure in transportation. We were talking about the, the highway between South between Jober and it was the N1, N4 uh, in South Africa, and that was also a, an added uh, benefit that we, we have a plan to carry on with our network of infrastructure expansion. We also had a virtual, sorry, sorry, not virtual, it was circular. We started talking about uh, energy and now we, we also ended up talking about energy. Uh, we have um, renewable energies Product, uh, projects in South Africa. We also have spoken about water projects. Uh, we spoke about possibilities of hydrogen at short term, but also at medium and long term, knowing that the application of um, hydrogen in uh, fuel for, for aircraft, uh, so that we also need to use this uh, possibility uh, for low carbon production of uh, uh, airplane fuels. We also have seen that uh, something that could improve uh, the, uh, the uh, trade in the whole region. We also talked about challenges and we have seen that South African and Spanish companies, we share the same kind of, of challenges and we uh, are grateful for the offers that the South African government have, have put on the table regarding a tendering, regarding the projects of renewable energy, uh, also at the, uh, supply of energy, uh, also policies to attract uh, human capital, which is so important in uh, sectors that incorporate new technologies. We also have spoken uh, about the visa applications that should be speedy, which is very important regarding our um, investment opportunities. All that trade, we need 
eh, y, eh, y la de trabajo, we also que es have lo más a working es que agenda that, uh, uh, of course, we need to carry on our work uh, with the support of both our governments. We have so many opportunities. We want to strengthen this line. Uh, we need to carry on with the follow of the government of uh, Spain, and we are very uh, committed to carry on with this uh, business cooperation. Muchas gracias uh, to uh, the representative of uh, the business community. And then I'd like to, uh, in inviting uh, uh, the next uh, and final speaker before we would have the exchange of memoranda and the presidents, I should say uh, to both presidents that South Africa is a deeply divided society. We have two large competing groups in our society. On the one side, are the supporters of Real Madrid. <laughs> On the other side, the supporters uh, of Barcelona. And so um, my colleague, uh, the Minister of uh, Industry, Trade and Tourism, uh, is offering a third way forward. Uh, she's Minister Reyes Maroto to take the floor. I would like to greet our presidents, the president of the Republic of the official visit of the president of the government of Spain to South Africa that promotes the trade and investment exchanges between our two countries. South Africa, as we said, is a priority country in our strategy for internationalization and has a specific program of strategic sector action that seeks to promote the presence of Spanish companies in specific sectors with potential in South Africa. This is part of the government agenda. We are talking about renewable energies, uh, for example, the uh, water sector, which also represents opportunities in terms of uh, renovation of infrastructures, the automobile, uh, automobile sector, also especially uh, in components. Spain has uh, some renowned leaders about this, also the industrial sector regarding some specific or sophisticated equipment. For example, there are other opportunities in the agricultural and the food sector. So we have leaders uh, in companies that are present here, also small and mid-sized companies that have found in Africa and South Africa, specifically a place where they can, they can invest and be part of the trade and commercial ecosystem. We also have some allies in South Africa, such as the Chamber of Commerce. Also, we also have the commercial office that represents the interests of Spanish companies that then provides all the necessary support to invest in this country. South Africa is our main client, is our second provider in Sub-Saharan Africa, with an important number of companies exporting regularly. It's our main investment destination. And what I want to show with this data is the great potential that we have in our bilateral relations. And we can see that this is taking place in this forum. It's going to enrich these relationships. We also receive South African companies in Spain. We have a large investment opportunities. We have a very ambitious plan to change our productive model working with different projects in terms of the electric car, developing microchips as well, health, agricultural sector as well, green hydrogen and renewable energies. These are projects that I invite the South African companies to be part to invest in this social and trade development of our country. And I'm going to finish now. I want to say that this is a proof of the good relationships that we have in terms of institutions, investment and trade between our countries. And this is strengthening our commitment to be priority allies. Thank you for being here, for being part of this forum, this round table. And I would like to invite you and invite companies together with institutions to strengthen this public-private collaboration. Thank you very much.
Muchas gracias. Uh, thank you very much uh, to my colleague. And now uh, we would ask for an exchange of memoranda of understanding and agreement that was signed between the Industrial Development Corporation and COFIDES. So I'm going to invite to the podium uh, Joanne Bate, the COO of the IEDC, and Jose Luis Carbello, the chairman and CEO of COFIDES. And they will exchange two memoranda that have been previously signed by them. And you are welcome to come up and you can uh, exchange the memoranda signifying the partnership between these two important public institutions, both of whom are responsible for industrial funding in their respective countries. Thank you very much. And we've served all the starters and the salads and so on, so we come to the main uh, meal now, which is really to have an opportunity for the two excellencies to address us. And uh, I'd like to say that President uh, uh, Ramaphosa has been leading South Africa's drive to industrialize and to build a more inclusive economy in which small businesses and young people and women can find opportunity. He has led the African Union as uh, the chairperson of the African Union during the critical period of COVID in driving African localization and the production of medical necessities, therapeutics, vaccines, and diagnostics in the fight against uh, COVID-19. And he's led the African Union and given leadership to Africa's voice in global fora. So it's my pleasure and I ask you to join me in welcoming to the podium the President of the Republic, His Excellency Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa. <laughs> Mr. President, the audience is all yours. You have the floor. Thank you very much, uh, Program Director, Minister Ibrahim Patel, Your Excellency, President Pedro Sanchez. Uh, it's a real joy and a pleasure to have you in South Africa. It's also a great pleasure to be amongst the business people on both sides who are contributing to the growth of our economies, to ministers who are here with us today, and ambassadors, and leaders of business on both sides, Spain and South Africa, and guests and ladies and gentlemen, and the media. And welcome once again to all of you. And it's, uh, it's a real pleasure that this official visit uh, was not only political, it was also underpinned by really wonderful discussions from what I've heard in reports amongst yourselves as business people. We really greatly appreciate this opportunity to meet with you as well as business leaders from our two respective countries. As South Africa, we are greatly encouraged by the number of uh, Spanish companies that are invested in our economy across a whole range of sectors that make up the South African economy. And with us today, we have businesses in renewable energy, which is a very uh, top class topical issue. I must say, Minister, if uh, you hadn't made us laugh uh, when you started about uh, the demonstration of renewable energy when the lights switched off, um, if you hadn't made us laugh, you could have been a candidate for removal from... <laughs> And the sectors such as water, financial services, healthcare, 
And I also heard about fashion, as well as uh, mining, tourism, steel, and, uh, and also, very importantly, agro-processing, uh, just to name but a few. Now, as part of our national industrial policy, we have developed a number of strategies to rapidly industrialize uh, our country and a number of sectors, largely to grow our economy, but also to grow the economy on an inclusive basis, which will also result in the creation of jobs right here in South Africa. We want to see higher levels of foreign direct investment by Spanish companies into South Africa. Now, this process of investing by Spanish companies into South Africa will not be based on something that is not well supported. It will be based on a wonderful relationship that exists between South Africa and Spain. And President Sanchez's visit to South Africa today has just confirmed and sealed that, and it also creates a very powerful foundation for businesses to invest in our economy. We also want to see more South African companies also investing in the Spanish economy, and we've just heard about great opportunities that also exist uh, in Spain. Now, this encouragement is a valuable platform, as far as I'm concerned, for us to improve the balance of trade between our two countries. And when President Sanchez and myself were talking during our tete-a-tete, -tete, we both said we are pleasantly surprised and encouraged by the level of trade that exists between our two countries. We are countries that really operate at a high level when it comes to trade, and we trade very well. And in some areas, we are competitors, and we felt that that competition uh, must be conducted on a fair basis, in an effective manner, where as competitors, we are also able to advance each other's interests. South Africa is currently the 12th largest destination for Spanish exports. And Spain is the 20th largest or highest destination for South African exports. Now, when it comes to our continent, President Sanchez said, Spain rates South Africa very, very highly. It currently has very close and strategic relations with two other countries in the northern part of our continent and it sees South Africa as a very strategic partner in the southern part of our continent. So for us, Spain is a strategic partner, and Spain is also a strategic tourism market for South Africa. In 2019, approximately 42,000 tourists from Spain visited South Africa. Now, when we come to tourism, I cannot but envy the great achievements that you have made as Spain on the tourism side. Uh, not that uh, President Sanchez was boasting. We've developed a wonderful relationship. We don't need to boast to one another. But he was telling me that uh, Spain has reached even levels of 87 million uh, tourists coming to Spain. And all are asked, uh, Minister, uh, Maroto is that if she could just give me a quarter of those, I'll be very happy. <laughs> so we, we, we have a very uh, promising, promising prospects for cooperation and deep cooperation in a number of areas. With COVID-19 uh, in abeyance, we are ready to welcome more Spanish tourists to our country. South Africa and the Kingdom of Spain have a well-established bilateral economic relationship which provides a firm platform for growth and expansion. Now, South Africa's focus is to increase the export of value-added goods and services 
to various countries in the world, but also especially to Spain. Our focus in this regard is on mining, equipment, and technologies, advanced manufacturing, alternative energy equipment, pharmaceuticals, agricultural products, and food processing equipment as well. Now, Spain's investment into South Africa is concentrated in renewable energy, and that's where we see you as great experts in the world and uh, a country from which we can learn a great deal apart from drawing a lot of investment. And also in tourism, uh, in steel, in automotives, in water and agro-processing sectors. Those are the areas that we believe uh, Spain can make a great contribution in, in South Africa. Companies such as Akiona and uh, GRI have uh, made significant investments in renewable energy sector in South Africa and having taken advantage of the environment that we have created and an environment that we can still improve on, largely also based on views and suggestions that come from you as business people. A few years ago, I visited a, a GRI or GRI wind uh, tower mast manufacturing facility in Atlantis, a special economic zone in the Western Cape, in the south. We hope to see these and other facilities grow with the massive expansion of renewable energy in South Africa. And the COVID-19 pandemic caused severe disruption to both developing economies as well as more developed economies. In response, South Africa adopted an economic reconstruction and recovery plan that prioritizes a lot of spending in agriculture that also focuses on employment stimulus to create more and, uh, and to sustain jobs and also measures to deepen what we call local industrialization where we want to produce goods in South Africa ourselves. To support a rapid economic rebound, South Africa has prioritized interventions to drive industrial growth and the expansion of energy generation capacity. Now, these initiatives are providing great opportunities for investors, and you will have heard the business people here who stood on the platform outlining the number of opportunities that exist. We are expanding local production to make South African exports much more competitive. Now, sectoral master plans have been developed for key industries such as agriculture, agro-processing, renewable energy and automotive and the steel sectors of our economy. And one area of collaboration we see is in the clothing and textile industry in line with the clothing and textile master plan. In 2018, we set ourselves what I call a very ambitious target of attracting 1.2 trillion rand, which is almost $100 billion at the time in new investments over a five-year period. And through four investment conferences that we have held, the last, latest having been in March of this year, we have nearly reached our target of attracting the $100 billion investments into our economy. We s hope to see a strong showing and a presence and participation by Spanish companies at the fifth South Africa investment conference next year. We are implementing a range of interventions to rapidly expand our energy generation capacity. And as you will have seen and heard yourselves, uh, our country is severely challenged when it comes to energy at the moment. The National Power Utility, ESCOM, which generates the majority of our power, is being split into three separate entities 
for generation, transmission, which is the grid, as well as distribution. We are increasing the procurement of renewable energy and through upscaling the use of gas and battery storage and removing all the regulatory restrictions on self-generation. Now, the regulatory reform is also underway to liberalize the electricity generation market, to make it more competitive, and to attract private sector investment through crowding in private sector, encouraging and incentivizing the private sector to participate in our economy or in our sector. We are greatly encouraged by the overwhelming response from the private sector, particularly in the mining sector, as to generate their own electricity. As soon as we opened the pathway for self-generation, we found that a number of mining companies were coming to the fore and saying that they want to take up the opportunities. Now, this will greatly assist in addressing our current energy supply challenges. We are undertaking also far-reaching reforms in other network industries, such as in telecommunications, in our ports and rail uh, sector, and water infrastructure, and our message is that South Africa is really, truly now open for business. And we say this advisedly because we've, we've had a number of difficulties, and business people have often told us about the difficulties they've been experiencing from visa applications uh, to uh, permit applications for either getting water licenses and many others. And now we are easing those, we are uh, streamlining those and making sure that it becomes a lot easier for business people to operate. And where there are challenges and difficulties, we're actually saying, come forward and inform us what those are so that we can address them. And this goes to proving that we are truly open for business. So we welcome increased and expanded investment from Spain, and we look to continue to build our very strong trade relationship by increasing the value and the diversity of exports from South Africa uh, to Spain. Now, all this is based on a very good and functioning relationship between our two governments. Our two governments, through this visit uh, today, and uh, I was able to, to, to convince uh, President Sanchez to invite me to Spain. And uh, uh, he thought about it for a while and he said, yeah, you can, you can come to Spain and I'll take you to a special place. But then I told him that wh while I was still in business, there were some business people that I was associated with from Spain. And I said, I will come to Spain provided they arrange a special match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. Uh, <laughs> They were not able to do so, so that's why I've been delaying. But uh, at the invitation of President Sanchez, I will definitely come. So, colleagues, the relationship that has evolved between the two countries is a very strong relationship. And uh, as you were saying, you rely on the support of the two governments to enable you to do your business. I can assure you that from both our sides, we are more than willing to provide that support, and uh, that support is the one that you should base your deep corporations on. And I wish you well in your continuing deliberations uh, as you discuss here and elsewhere. And I truly look forward to many more ventures and partnerships between South African and Spanish companies because at a government level, we have a very well-functioning strategic relationship that is aimed at progressing the interests of both countries. So I thank you, and thank you very much for welcoming us to your conference. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, our next speaker is our very, very special guest. His Excellency Pedro Sanchez, a distinguished leader in Europe, as well as Prime Minister and President of the Government of Spain since 2018. President Sanchez has a PhD in economics and has been looking for complementary trade between the two countries. And of course, complementary trade has to be based on comparative advantage. So applying the doctrine of comparative advantage to our basket of goods and services, we have found excellency a great opportunity. South Africa should export its sweet and juicy citrus fruit to Spain. And in return, Spain should export its football players to South Africa. <laughs> it's my pleasure, and I ask you to join me in welcoming our special guest, His Excellency Pedro Sanchez. Excellency, you have the floor. Gracias. Muchas gracias, eh, querido, querido presidente Ramaposa. Gracias, eh, estimado ministro, ministra, eh, representantes de la comunidad empresarial tanto de España como de Sudáfrica. Para mí es un auténtico placer eh, estar en este acto empresarial como parte de un viaje que refuerza los vínculos entre Sudáfrica. The links between South Africa and Spain. Thanks for the organizers, for you to be here, and special thanks to the hospitality of President Mr. Ramaphosa for the productive meetings that we had this morning a few months ago. We were exchanging some documents with other ambassadors. And President Ramaphosa said that we citizens of the world have a common interest in tackling inequality, poverty, we want to have strengthen health and education. President Ramaphosa mentioned this on that occasion, and I think that summarizes the vision and also the inspiration of our governments. We have similar uh, visions. Uh, we have had the opportunity to discuss during this uh, uh, the travel, this, this trip. We also had other opportunities in other occasions. But I see that we have similar perspectives in many different uh, sectors, especially trying to promote the interaction and growth of our economies, also to strengthen the uh, benefit and well-being of our societies. The world has been facing very difficult challenges as the ones that we are facing during these times, global emergencies uh, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, also the climate emergency that South Africa is suffering, as well as the African continent as a whole, but also Spain and Europe. In summary, the whole planet, climate crisis, the pandemic, has shown us that we must work together towards similar development government models to secure our development and growth and survival. Food security, which is at risk also because of the war in Ukraine, also general access to technology are debates that we cannot avoid nowadays at a global level. Also, previsions regarding growth of the global economy in the middle term have deteriorated according to analysis that we have seen in the last few months, especially between June and July, especially because of the invasion of Ukraine. We've seen that it's been affecting the prices of uh, fuel and, if, and the food. We've also seen that the dollar is changing the global economy. The Chinese economy as well is affecting the global. So we have to admit that we are facing extraordinary uncertainty. And the European Union is in a shock, especially uh, very intense as a consequence of the effects of the war. But in this context of infl inflation, energetic emergency, and all these factors of this current context, 
we have some kind of uh, advantage and we must discuss the, the option of renewable energies and this is representing one third of our capacity in Europe, in Spain and this is also related to our, or in general to the energetic, uh, energy, energy market we have been working or we have been discussing with the uh, IMF and they have been saying that uh, uh, Spain is going to grow more than 4% and the European Union in general is going to grow just a bit more over 3%. So we have seen that the Eurozone is going to grow 0.5%. What I'm trying to say is, the, is that in this uncertainty we also have hope regarding the, the Spanish economy and we will be able to overcome in a better way these challenges are a bit better than the rest of the European country in the face of this deep crisis that we are facing. Of course, this is quite optimistic, I have to say, but this is also mm, highlighted by other indicators. We are talking, for example, about employment, which is employment is growing. You also have uh, something that the increasing widely and we also have to consider exports transportation construction sectors which are growing as much as tourism in 2022 our, our industrial production is one of the biggest of the European Union in 2022 in summary what I want to say is that all these indicators are showing how the Spanish economy is growing, it's reliable, and we have so many opportunities ahead of us in terms of the digital transition and ecological transition that we are facing and going through. In this global context, which is so complex, South Africa and Spain share similar values that I would like to share with you. First of all, we are eager to see the development of our citizens, and also believe in the face of the challenges that we are facing, digitalization, climate crisis, and so on, we also have here great opportunities for our countries. So from Spain, we believe that it is essential to keep on developing our trade and investment links, and this is why I am here together with the ministry, the minister of trade, industry, and tourism of Spain. These links are showing that we have a wider relationship between Africa and Europe as continents. In February, there was an important summit celebrated in Brussels between the African Union and European Union. We were discussing an investment package regarding or including more than 150 million euros for the next five years and focused on sectors that are critical for any society, health, education, youth, digital transformation, green transformation, and transport. And to materialize this, the European Union is going to mobilize the private sector regarding different strategies, European guarantees, and also technical systems. In this context, after this summit between the African Union and the European Union and Global uh, Gateway of Investments, we can see a window of opportunity that can promote our bilateral relations between Spain and South Africa. At the moment, South Africa is, as it was mentioned earlier, the main destination for Spanish exports in Sub-Saharan Africa. And this is the third in the whole continent, occupying a very important uh, position in our exports. We have a robust and a balanced relationship, as uh, the, the minister uh, said, we, uh, this represents 2,500 million million in the past year. We also saw the videos with all these uh, figures. And thanks uh, for uh, being with me, uh, um, talking about the Chamber of Commerce of Spain. They are with me in this trip. And we are committed to working with South Africa in uh, automobile industry, uh, construction, food, and other sectors. But there is a sector that is very well known Mr. Ramaphosa mentioned it, is that renewable energies 
almost 2,000 megawatts have been uh, produced in South Africa and they have the Spanish stamp. In October uh, the 3rd, we had a meeting of the, with the participation of uh, Spanish companies which are being granted the uh, development of these projects. So this has also implied certain challenges that we've had to uh, face together. But I want to emphasize uh, that you can trust us. We are starting a new moment uh, sharing the opportunity of progress. Spain, I want to tell you, Mr. President, is very interested in being a part of South Africa an ally. We want to strengthen the generation of electricity, to decarbonize, we can call it like that, the economy, to improve renewable energy, to improve water management, which is a shared challenge as well between South Africa and, and Spain. We want to work on the transportation, telecommunications. In summary, to develop the South African industry. These are sectors that, in my country, we have an important know-how with leader companies at a global level. So I would like to invite the Spanish companies present here to invest in South Africa and to develop these projects that are already ongoing. Mr. Ramaphosa said that we want to give or to do everything as possible to develop this structure. And in this dialogue, which is not only about words but also about figures and numbers, we want to help the development of the capacities of our companies. And I would like to mention this an announcement, and Spain is going to give 115 million euros in the next five years for to support industrial projects, investments, to contribute to this common challenge that we have, such as mitigating and adapting to climate change. Instruments such as the Fund for the Internalization of uh, Companies, uh, Cofides was here as well to support the implementation in South Africa of our companies. So, in summary, again, I want to highlight the importance of the MOUs that were signed, first of all, the collaboration for 0 between the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Competition and Industry, Trade and Tourism, allowing Spanish companies to play a big role in diversifying companies in the context of interconnected industry. And then, second MOU between uh, COFIDES and COE, operation in the private sector, in terms of industry, particularly projects that contribute to uh, agri-industry and the uh, technological transition. So I think these are great examples of what can our countries do together. Very good things for the benefit of our societies. 28 years ago, South Africa inspired the world, Mr. President. After decades of injustice, exclusion, to build a proud society, proud of its opportunities, its inclusiveness, and this, Mr. President, you had a key role as a negotiator of a constitution that guaranteed the peaceful transition towards freedom, and it was repressed, and it was isolated by the international community. So. So our transitions to democracy were quite recent. And this is a common experience that is joining us, defending the freedom, universal values, human dignity, not only in our societies, but also in a world that is being punished by inequality. I would like to pay homage who are here supporting a more respectful and more just future for our country. We trust South Africa deeply as much as we trust the Spanish companies who are contributing to this here in this country. So we are ratifying this trust with this financial package that I just announced, but also with the common desire that we are completely committed to collaborating in terms of business and uh, trade and economy, 
countries that are so far away in terms of uh, kilometers, but that are together in terms of shared values. Mr. President was saying before that you would like to come and visit Spain. As the President of the Republic of South Africa, I want to tell you that Spain is going to open you, uh, welcome you with open arms. I hope that the timing is right for a match between Real Madrid and Barcelona. But please don't forget the Atlético de Madrid also. But as the Minister Patel said, we are going to exchange temporarily some players, why not? And some South African rugby players can come to Spain as well. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. And our appreciations to uh, President Sanchez, our guest today, and to President Ramaphosa, our host. A thank you also to Minister Pando and the team at DERCO that does an enormous amount